Hey, what's up, everybody? So we have an interesting article coming from CoinWorld.com and Paul Kielke's, and I would like to go over some of this article with you today. It says here, Treasury Inspector General may investigate mint sales. Very, very interesting. And here we have a depiction of a Type 1 and a Type 2, one-tenth ounce American Gold Eagles. It says American Eagle 2021 one tenth ounce gold two coin set designer edition sold out in its 5,000 set maximum in about two minutes. And I was on the site and that was crazy to see it go from, from available to unavailable in two minutes flat. That was the craziest thing I ever seen. From my understanding, I didn't buy one of these, but there was close to no problems with the website but it did go in two minutes I, I wish everything would sell out like that two minutes you're on there a easy purchase if you're on there but it goes very quickly that's how i wish they would all work so this article i will post a link in the description below if you want to take a look at this article for yourself the Treasury Department Office of Inspector General has under consideration plans to investigate the United States Mint Management of Commemorative Coin Program, its research and development of circulating coin compositions, and its implementation and management of sales of limited edition numismatic products. That's exactly what we are all interested right there the investigation of sales of limited edition numismatic products. The Treasury Office of Inspector General has currently undertaken reviews on how the Mint acquires gold bullion, its project management, and its control over raw materials and coin exchange programs. The Office of Inspector General plans are detailed in the agency annual plan fiscal year 2021 the fiscal year runs from october 1st 2020 through september 30th 2021 future investigations according to the fiscal year 2021 annual plan the treasury office of inspector general contemplates initiating several investigations in future fiscal years. Its plan to assess the mint controls related to acquisition of silver bullion and other precious metals such as gold, platinum, palladium. The investigations will include the mint's purchasing and responsible sourcing of precious metals. Concerning the availability of the Mint's Numismatic Limited products, the document said, We plan to determine if the Mint is ensuring the fair and equitable availability of its products to all customers and assesses the Mint's methods of establishing mintage and product limits for certain numismatic products. Regarding Mint's controls, over the sales of limited production investment grade products. The plan is to determine if the Mint practices adhere to established policies and procedures designed to ensure the broadest and most fair access. On the same subject, Office of Inspector General also plans to scrutinize actions taken by the Mint relating to weaknesses identified in prior Treasury Office of Inspector General checks to see if actions adequately addressed issued notes. As reported in Coin World, the U.S. Mint has received customer flack for most of the calendar year 2021 over the Bureau's handling of lease and sales of multiple limited edition numismatic products, all of which have sold out within the matter of minutes from sales launch. Some mint collectors customers also complained about perceived unfairness in connection with a new dealer incentive. Here it comes. This is probably the most important part of this article. 
For some limited edition products, the Mint reserved up to 10% of the maximum authorized mintage to be parted out among 18 qualified dealers who comprise the Mint's authorized bulk purchase program or ABPP. The ABPP dealers can place orders the week before a scheduled public release and pick up the products from the Mint's contracted order fulfillment center before sales open to the rest of the public. Now, a lot of people in the comment section of my videos during hot releases, about hot releases, like to, let's say, uh, criticize people like the, the general public who are flippers. Now, I, for one, am not a flipper. I am more of a collector. In my opinion, the biggest flipper, the biggest flipper out there are these dealers. These dealers are buying them a week early, a week early from my understanding, and it says on this article, and reselling them for much, 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 much higher than what the Mint offered them for. To me, doesn't that qualify them as a flipper? They are the biggest flipper, and you have some smaller people doing the same exact thing on a very smaller scale, but these people are the ones who are being criticized by some people for doing this. Anyway, let's get on with this article. The ABPP dealers who pay the Mint a 5% premium over public retail price cannot offer their purchases for sale until the public release. U.S. Mint officials did not disclose details of the ABPP program until February 2021 when CoinWorld confirmed its existence with Bureau officials. Since then, CoinWorld has sought the release of the identities of the 18 ABPP dealers, but so far U.S. Mint officials refuse to supply that information. So hopefully, so it seems like, I don't know how this all started or why the inspector general feels the need to investigate this. But if you remember, I did do a video, uh, I don't know, a couple of months ago that said, get on the phone with your congressmen, your senators, anybody who you can and tell them that you are not a fan of this. You are not a fan of this. You do not support this, and we need this to get changed. Did you do that? I don't know. If you did do that, that have an impact? I don't know. Something had an impact as to why Treasury Office of Inspector General is possibly, finally, going to take a look into this. But I definitely think, even though they are paying a slightly above what the general public would be paying because they are paying an extra 5%. But to me, I would rather pay the extra 5% and be able to get the coin that I want a little bit easier than authorized purchasers paying an extra 5%. And then everybody else has a hard, a very hard time, a harder time trying to get the uh, so-called hot releases that everybody wants. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below about this article. Once again, I will post this a link to this article in the description below so you can click on it and read it for yourself uh, when you have time to do so. Thanks everybody for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below and I will talk to everybody on my next video. Smash that thumbs up button.